A kinematic diagram is a graphic diagram which shows process nodes and blocks of the structure's mechanism. A basic kinematic diagram shows motion transmission sequence of a motor through an intermediate mechanism to the structure's operative elements. It also shows how they are interrelated. A kinematic diagram shows only those elements of an assembly design which participate in the transmission of motion. These are idler gears, propelling ties and clamps, shafts, actuator pulleys, couplings and other parts. Design of an assembly structure is drawn on the diagram in the form of solid lines alternated by dotted lines. Each element is marked with numbers which have a corresponding designation. There are spatial kinematic diagrams which are made in the form of detailed diagrams. We combine all axes in one plane and then project them on the plane. Such diagrams help to understand motion transmission sequence. We may also show certain elements of other type diagrams on the kinematic diagram. These may be electric elements that have direct influence on it. We read a kinematic diagram starting from the motor, which is the source of motion for all parts of the mechanism. We define each element of a kinematic diagram by its reference designation. Thus, we can understand its function and type of motion transmission. Kinematic diagrams are useful for studying the inside mechanism. We can examine it so as to get acquainted with it. We can also do repair works of the whole unit or its individual block, or we can replace certain elements and parts. For instance, we have a tape drive mechanism. Its kinematic diagram is simple, but sometimes it is impossible to do a visual examination of its certain elements, which need to be replaced. That is when we can use its graphic designation. We can assemble a small capacity machine with the help of a simple layout diagram. But a kinematic diagram will help to examine its structure in more details. A kinematic diagram is very helpful in examining designs of compound mechanisms and operational capacities of most of them, which depend on electronic properties as well as their congruence and operating velocity.